The Airbus A321XLR is poised to revolutionise the aviation industry by offering a viable alternative to traditional wide-body aircraft on long-haul routes. With its impressive range of up to 4,700 nautical miles and enhanced fuel efficiency, the A321XLRR allows airlines to operate direct flights to smaller cities that were previously unfeasible with larger jets. This capability not only reduces operational costs but also opens up new markets, enabling airlines to connect secondary cities across continents without relying on major hub airports. For instance, airlines like Aer Lingus have already begun utilising the A321XLR for routes such as Dublin to Nashville, showcasing its potential to reshape long-distance travel dynamics. One of the key advantages of the A321XLR is its economic efficiency. Compared to wide-body aircraft, the A321XLR has significantly lower operating costs, making it an attractive option for airlines looking to explore new long-haul routes with lower passenger demand. The aircraft's design allows for a smaller crew and reduced fuel consumption, which translates to a lower price per passenger. This is particularly beneficial for airlines aiming to maintain profitability on routes that do not support the higher capacity of wide-body jets. As airlines like United and American Airlines prepare to integrate the A321XLR into their fleets, they are expected to replace aging aircraft like the Boeing 757, further solidifying the A321XLR's role in the long-haul market. However, while the A321XLR presents a compelling case for replacing wide-body aircraft on certain routes, it is unlikely to completely eliminate the need for larger jets. Wide-body aircraft still excel in high-demand markets and at slot-constrained airports, where their larger passenger and cargo capacities are essential. The A321XLR's introduction will likely lead to a more diversified fleet strategy, where airlines can optimise their operations by deploying narrow-body aircraft on routes with lower demand while reserving wide-body jets for high-traffic corridors. This dual approach will enhance flexibility and efficiency in the airline industry, allowing for a more tailored service to meet varying passenger needs.